It is September here in North Texas, and we know, yeah. yeah, more 90s are on the way for us. Our average high is supposed to be in the upper 80s, is in the upper 80s this time of the year, but we weren't there today. And as you take a look at downtown Dallas, it's still a muggy evening for us. Our highs today topped out at 93 degrees officially at DFW, 93 also in Addison. Love Field, 95 degrees today, one of our warmer readings in Rockwall, sitting at 93. Right now, our temperatures are down into the lower 80s at DFW, 83 degrees to 82 in Louisville, with a little bit of cloud. Cover around, even seeing some upper 70s showing up right now across the Metroplex, like Arlington at 79, still sitting at 86 in Dallas to 77 in Mineola to 78 in Gainesville. So, overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, you'll see that mix of clouds that are out there. And then going in through tomorrow, uh, this forecast model is trying to bring up a couple of showers in the forecast. I think we're going to remain dry as we go through tomorrow, then even into Wednesday, the same story as high pressure starts to build in overhead. So, overnight tonight, our temperatures cool down to the mid 70s for the Bus stops tomorrow morning. Also, plan when you get the kids after school to maybe have an extra juice box water for them because temperatures are going to be in the mid 90s. So, it's going to be a hot afternoon for tomorrow. And then, when you factor in the humidity, it's going to feel warmer than that. It's going to feel like possibly up near 100 degrees for tomorrow afternoon. We talked about Florence at the top of the newscast, and you can see there's still some rain, some strong to severe storms through parts of Virginia. We showed you that tornado video. That area of low pressure, that what was Florence, is continuing to push through West Virginia. Will push through then Pennsylvania, and with it, a lot of rain is going to be falling. So flash flood watches continue. There are aerial flood advisories, flood warnings also in effect because of the slow moving storms over the same area of land. And going through today, tonight, tomorrow, even through uh, parts of Wednesday, we're going to see a lot of rain continue to fall. Into our midweek in some spots, possibly five to six to even seven inches of rain in some localized spots. So that's where a lot of the rain is. As we travel our way down towards parts of the southern plains, high pressure is starting to build back in, and that's why we get hot over the next couple of days. You can kind of see this ridge of high pressure building in. That will then break down towards the end of the week. And you notice that through the midweek with high pressure overhead, we're dry, but then by Friday, our rain chances start to go back up to near 40%. So we have the moisture content getting pulled back up here. Into North Texas, going into Thursday night and then into Friday, that rain is going to be around. Better chances of rain on Friday into Saturday with a cool front that's approaching North Texas. I don't think it will make its way all the way through, but because of the rain in place and also the cloud cover in place, our temperatures will come down. But on Thursday, we're sitting at 94 degrees, rain chances at 20%. Friday and Saturday into the upper 80s. It won't be a washout towards the end of the week or going into the weekend, but there will be times that we will see some isolated showers and even some storms for. Us holding together across North Texas, and that wet, wet, wet pattern does continue going into next week on Monday. Rain chances then sitting at 20 percent. So, Ken, I'm sure you have a honeydew list for this weekend uh, coming up. Tons, as I do every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and so I can't tell you that it's going to completely wash out your whole weekend, so you can't go outside. But at least you'll have some times to not do anything. Yeah, I hope she's hearing. <laughs> <Right>? Yeah, <laughs> thank you very much.